Hey YouTube, it's me. I know this real quick, but I'm coming through with another haul. As y'all know, I got to play with the makeup art collection about two weeks ago, I think it was. And I was like, oh God, it's so, so pretty. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So today it was released. Yay, it was released. So of course I was out there at the counter, not bright and early. I went probably about five o'clock. I slept in today. But I went out and I played in it. I didn't get everything that I said I was going to get, but I still got more than enough. Okay, I'll start off with what's on my lips. This is very different for me, too. It's on display. It's a lip glass. See? See? And it's like a burgundy. I don't know how I described on the site. I'm pretty sure if you look it up on there, it probably says... A mauve brown with gold flecks of shimmer. I don't describe colors like that. It's like burgundy. And it's very pigmented too. And I'm not sure how I feel about color. Because I'm usually more of a neutral. I wasn't going to get it. But I was like, okay, hey, what the hell. Keep the party going. Next thing I have that I got on is Notable Blush. I remember telling y'all that I was getting that one. Now this one, I'm going to swatch it. Let's see if y'all might be able to see this. Side by side with Raisin. Because I did it in the store. You know, I had to make sure they weren't trying to fool me. Let's swatch it heavy. But it's different. So if you want to justify it, it is um, different from Raisin. Raisin has more of a, a terracotta. And this one has a plummyish color to me. And we have those right there. This is Raisin, and this is the Notable. And mine at these are swatched pretty heavy, so you can see the colors. So they're different, but I like them both. Raisin, for me, is a little harsh. Like, I have to, no matter how light I try, it's still just like, bam. But for this one, I just grab a brush, and it's probably like wore off now. But you can kind of see is a nice little plummy color so definitely recommend that blush for women of color you can kind of see it real good from back here right how it's like cheekbone cheekbone but keep it moving then i got personal taste that's another lip guys i didn't expect to get so many lippies but this one is like a really pale pink this one is gorgeous i might have i'm gonna try this one out once i get the lipstick and the lipstick I got was High Strung. Now, this was permanent, so you've probably seen it before, but I decided to get it. It's described as like a silver pink. I know this one. And I thought it was pretty. It went good with the, the lip glass. That's really what made me get it because I wasn't going to get it at first. But I was like, oh, it goes really good with that lip glass. Now, for shadows, I got the orange one, the off the page. That one's pretty. I wanted to see this one compared to the one I got from the CCO, the um, Fire Spot. Let me see. Got my bag angel. Oh yeah, it does look different. Now yeah, I'm just looking in the pack because I was gonna leave it because I was like, well, I just brought an orange shadow, but yes, they're different. So if you have both of these, they're also different. Here is the fire spot, this um, dark orangey color on the side. And on the other side, you have the off the page. What was it? Off the radar. Off the page. Off the radar is the pigment. So it's pretty. I like it. So I'm going to keep that one definitely. I said I'll wait till I swatch it when I got home to decide on that one. So definitely a pretty, real, not too, too bright of an orange. That's what I like. It's pigmented where you can see it, but yet it's not like scary orange. And I only got one quad. I end up not getting the brown quad, the um, the notoriety. It was pretty. If you just starting off with shadows, I'll probably say it's a good one because it's a nice neutral base, but everything just looked way too much like something that I had already. So I was like, Maybe when I go to CCO and I'm just there looking, I might get it one day. But I got the green one, the photorealism. 
and this was pretty like i said this was probably my most impressed i don't even like greens and when i swatched it and back the two weeks ago i was like wow that's really pretty and i tried some on my eyes today i wiped it off now but i had some on my eyes and i think i'm gonna do like a green smoky eye this might be my first tutorial that'd be a good one see what people really want to do with it so i didn't get the brown one to no variety but the green one if you had to get a quad for something different because i must have went through swatching all kind of matte shades and none of those are really dupable at all so that'd be a good one and then i got one pigment and no i didn't get the purple one i was gonna get the purple one but i was i don't know i'm happy with my makeup forever number 92 as far as the deep purple and it just wasn't i don't know i didn't think it was worth that much so maybe cco i might get it and then since i've heard it's similar to great pigment but the one i got was the brush and bold and it's that hot pink one and I'm I just don't really do pinks so I've never really just had any but this one was just different and it's very bright and it could even be used as a blush if you've seen the azalea blush it kind of reminds I don't have azalea because I didn't like it that much it's not the color I like but it reminds me of that and see it's it reminds me just one little swatch no primers or anything but I said this would look real good over a paint pot. Like for a nice little bright pink color. For when you're going for some real color. That'll look good. But it's definitely not every day. So, But it's different. It was nothing else like it. And I even went it to Sephora and swatched some Makeup Forever. Um, what they call them? Thank you for Jiggies. The Stardust Powder. And... It was still different from that one. So, it was justifiable for me. So, those are all of my MAC things that I got. Not too, too much, but enough. And I'm going to show y'all the, um, the lipstick and the lip gloss, too. Because that was really, really pretty. And I went to Target. Because I went on this little Target hunt today, for whatever reason. Mix around. And I watched this video on YouTube with uh, Pixie Woo. Some, some bad bitches stuff. They got some looks. And she did this look. I can't remember the supermodel name. But it was gorgeous. And she used this quad here. And this was um, a pixie quad. And it was at Target. And it was on clearance for $6. So you got all four eyeshadows. And these were gorgeous. And then you got the um, two bronzers. And then you got like two look products. So all that for $6 and no shadows were pigmented. It has like the black has little gold flecks in it. So you have to check. It's the latest video that Pixie Woo done. So if you look at that one, I'm going to practice with that one because that's the look that I like. When I think of glamour, that is what I think of. But look at those swatches of this $6 eyeshadow I just brought. And that's not even the blushes and stuff. That's just the eyeshadow. So that's good stuff. So I got that. And since they had other stuff on clearance there, I picked up a few other little Pixie products too, just because I'm a clearance junkie. And they had this lip palette with all these lip colors, top and bottom, and this was six bucks too. And it was cute. I don't really usually use lip palettes, but who knows? I might use it for something. Then they had this little brush set. This was seven dollars. This is gonna go in my purse. I need a new little purse brush set for when I try on makeup in stores. I usually like to use my own brushes. And I got another little blush. Nothing too, too special. Once again, it was on clearance. But I wanted to show y'all this lip. Mm, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. It's still kind of stained it, huh? And. High strung. It's like a really now granted that my lips are a little um stained, I guess. Kind of, no, not really. Now I'm looking in the mirror. Yeah, I just hit my teeth with it. And this is the personal taste. It's really has a lot of fine, fine glitter in it. It looks so good by itself. I was like, oh, Lord, I got to have that. So, that's it. Really, really pretty. And one more thing. 
when I was hauling this for my birthday weekend, right back, it's a Juicy Couture bag. As y'all know, I like that Juicy. And I got it from the outlets. It was on sale for, I think, $170 something. And it was regular, like right at $400. But just want y'all opinion of if I should keep it. Because I'm usually a neutral pers person. Because I brought this one from Aldo. And it was like 20 bucks. I hadn't used it either. But I just kind of wanted a purple bag for something for a pop of color. So let me know if you think this juicy bag is worth it or not. Okay? <laughs> Alright, so thank y'all for watching. And that tutorial is coming soon. So be on the lookout for it. You know, I can take the comments and all that good stuff. But it is coming soon. I've been trying to think of what looks I want to do and everything. So I want y'all to keep watching. Okay? <laughs> Bye.